Okay, so there's this hobby that I've gotten into printing my smartphone photos. Like across the years, the best travel photos or the best clicks, I've always liked to get them printed and store them. Now, Fujifilm sent us their entire portable printer and this. This is by far the smallest camera I have seen from a serious camera company. Now, we did already make a video long, long back on portable printers and this Instax Mini. OG TechWiser would remember. Now, we also have this huge ass printer in the office. We went out of the way to get photos printed from a photo studio just to know, are mobile printers worth it? And just to make this video super interesting, we went through three challenges. This is a fun video. Let's go. By the way, this video is made in collaboration with Fujifilm. Now, before we get to the video, the printer usually comes in this box. You get the printer, of course. Some paperwork, Type-C cable. And these mobile printers are very different from these big printers. Like here, you need to buy cartridge or colors. You can use any paper and the printer will use a combination of these four colors to print line by line. But these portable Instax printers, if you open, there's a slot for paper. Here's the print button and that's it. There's no color or print head. So the entire magic is in this film shots. And these film shots itself contains all the colors. So these portable printers are inkless printers. The advantage of these printers are they are compact. They don't take time to print. And the print quality is way better for photos in these type of printers. However, you have to only use these film shots. The film shots will cost somewhere between 50 to 100 per sheet. Now, Fujifilm also sell these cool designer film shots. Like they have this soft lavender film shot. There are a lot of color film shots on Amazon. My favorite is this black Instax film shots. Like this look pretty dope and retro to me. Now printing is pretty easy. You need to download the Instax Square Link app. Now depending on the printer you get, the app QR code is present on the box of the printer. Once you open the Instax Square Link app, you have to pair the printer via Bluetooth. Now the first time you put up the pages in the printer for a test shot, it just rolls out the protector film. Now here I can select the filter style. I really like this auto filter. It just enhances the overall photo quickly. Now the print takes some time to appear. Like you don't need to shake the film shots like this. This is not an old school camera reel. And it has that slightly contrasty, slightly darker retro film wipe. Now, how is the print quality? So we got some glossy paper for our inkjet printer. And now we are taking the same photo to a print studio and we'll get it printed. We had to print this photo. How much will the price be? Bro was using Photoshop CS3 and it launched back in 2007. So this first photo we took from our inkjet printer which is found in everyone's house and if you see the color wears off, it sticks on my hand, this is not at, all, not at all doable. And the second photo we took from a studio which costed us about 100 rupees for a print and the third one is from the Instax portable printer. And if you see side by side, both of the print has about the same quality. The Instax print has a slightly retro and contrasty vibe but both of them are pretty much the same. Now Instax has different kind of portable printers like Instax Square Link, Instax Mini Link 2 and Instax link wide this link wide is for getting wide prints this one's cool instax link 2 here while printing you can press this button and now i can use ar effects to like spray paint over the food or when you're using the instax camera app you can move the printer forward to zoom in and you can move it back to zoom out of the photo air gestures and finally we have this pocket size camera it costs 11,000, and this is fun you get this head which acts as a viewfinder. Like this is to see what photo you're going to click. Like see, now I can see Cyan. This is a one by 1.5 inch CMOS sensor. I can either put up an SD card directly or just connect it to the Instax PAL app. Click photos, that classic shutter sound. And then you can directly download the photos from the mobile app. Also, you can choose the aspect ratio of the photo, whether you want it square, vertical, wide, etc. But is it better than your phone camera? Well, we took up the challenge and now we'll take no, similar price phone. Okay, a good photographer can take good, take good pictures with anything. Keep the same spirit when you lose. <laughs> I'll take this pocket camera and Sayan will take this similar price phone camera and we'll get 15 minutes with our Dejaan model Dinesh Bhai. <laughs> we'll take three photos. Time starts now. I'm done. It, 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 I you, just took... you have like nine and a half minutes. You have nine minutes remaining. Doesn't matter. I don't need so much time. Ready? Yes. So your time starts... Now, go, go, I, go, I need go, some go. props. <laughs> I lost the viewfinder. <laughs> One thing I can say, it's very hard to shoot without a viewfinder. You actually don't know what you're clicking. That's why it's called a viewfinder. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. All right. So out of these six photos, which one do you like? Like three of them, you have to choose. Three. This one. Ah. Okay, this is one. So I will go for this and this. Shit! Seriously? Yeah, yeah, why not? Whatever the camera is. <laughs> <laughs> These are all taken on this tiny camera. Oh, nice. <laughs> and I took all of them, Sayan took the ones that you said that is shutter <laughs> <laughs> So most of them choose 
this phone camera photo although the reason was mostly because the framing is good either or the vibe of the photos are different like they look good on print so at the end it's not about the device that you have in hand it's the eye behind the camera finally but credit where due this photo was the best and the idea was nice <laughs> now this was a fun video to answer your question see in this day and age your social media photo is really public like people curate their photos and upload it to instagram i personally have stopped posting random photos on instagram i rather not print my memories so for people like me who are enthusiastic about camera photos and printing of course a mobile printer will be a good hobby thing but for most people i think phone camera and google photos is good enough that would this is signing off see you in the next video and <laughs>